And at this time, I would like to announce the winners from this morning's milking cow classes. Entry number 903, R. Heart Wonder Ruffle, from Alan Reinhardt of Wapakoneta, Ohio. Was the first place fall yearling in milk. 2181, Top Acres Agenda Roxy, from Petervale, Ken Maine of Copac, New York. Was the second place fall yearling in milk. In the junior two-year-olds, Entry number 927, Top Acres Supreme Fiesta from Jarrett Ren Remsburg of Middletown, Maryland was the winning entry. Entry number 20, 928 was second in the class, Grass Haven Chip Gucci from John Raymond and Diane Segaria of Petaluma, California. There were 21 head in that class. In, in the senior two-year-olds, Entry number 950, Greystone JP Titleist from Steve Wagner of Quarryville, Pennsylvania was the winning entry. Entry number 954 was second, RNR Vintage Parma from Ronald and Malekovich of Lakeville, Ohio. There were 10 junior three-year-olds, class number 336. The winner was number 995, Blessing Bonanza Francie from Cade Blessing of Fort Wayne, Indiana. The second place junior three-year-old was entry 988, Cruzy's Fast Break Kitten from the Cruzy family of Earlville, Iowa. And in the senior three-year-olds, there were 13 head. Entry number 1020, Ars Hart BC Cayenne from Rotting House and Woods was the first place winner. And the second place winner was entry number 1009, Four Salon PJ's Shine True Farms from uh, Perry, New York. We had a total of 68 cows in the intermediate cow classes. And those are your winners that you have out there in the arena. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, certainly being a really nice uh, young cow show here with all the cows we've had out, really good class winners and some really tight placings at the top end. Let's give these exhibitors a beautiful round of applause here for the quality we have out here. We pulled these four cows. These are the four and take nothing away from these fine cows left here. This junior two, these two are going to be great down the road. But today we're judging today and these are the four cows to me that are in the bloom today and, and got the frames and the balance I'm looking for. We got these two two-year-olds that to me it was a horse race in the class. It's very close and you could switch these cows and give reasons for it and justify it. And uh, the first cow maybe not handling as well as she did in her class, but boy, you got to admire that beautiful uh, dariness of this heifer with a really good mammary system. She's open ribbed. She's real stylish, and uh, heifer you really, really like, and you know she's only going to get better down the road. The heifer that was second to her in the class, maybe, uh, like I say, a real close in the class, and to me, maybe not quite as fine in her bone, in her rear leg, maybe not quite as dairy throughout her hide. But boy, what a beautiful young cow standing here as well with a great udder. Then we got the junior three. What a frame. Beautiful frame. You look across the ring at this cow, and she catches you with all that depth of her rib and rear flank and bloom to her udder and venation on her udder. And a cow that uh, is extremely long from the tip of her nose to the tip of her tail. Then we got the senior three. To me, a cow that come out one or class. Just a beautiful udder, beautiful balanced cow. A cow that's... Uh, Really dairy, really angular, and really put together and moves out tremendously well on her feet and legs. I'm going to go, I'm going to tap an intermediate champion. I'm going to tap a reserve and an honorable mention in that order. And then, uh, even if you don't agree with me, give these exhibitors a big round of applause because it's one man's opinion on the day.
Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I love all four of these cows, but the senior three to me, she puts it all together as far as showing the fewer faults. The cow is a little nicer in her structure of her hawk. She's a little nicer right there, the way she walks out in her pastern. She's, to me, um, harder of her loin and, and top line today over the reserve, over the uh, junior three. The junior three, she's all about frame. She does, she is deeper in the rear flank than the, than the uh, senior three, but to me, just not quite hard enough in the center of that top to go over the senior three for reserve today. Giving her the advantage over the young two-year-old, just a little more of an uphill run through the front end, a little nice, more level run through that shoulder than the senior two today, a little more massive frame than the senior two, an honorable mention. Congratulations to these exhibitors. Thank you.